For those of you who uh, know Nicole and know Jeff Krischer, who is the other part of the dynamic duo in diabetes that I get to uh, employ, uh, couldn't be two more different people, but on both ends of the spectrum, uh, they're helping USF be a leader in diabetes. I want to give you just um, three numbers uh, that I think in some respects uh, give you a, a feeling for the impact of diabetes. The first is six, the second is 24, and the third is uh, 50. It's the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. It affects 24 million Americans, and 50% of women who have had gest gestational diabetes go on and get type 2 diabetes and have it affect them for the rest of their life. For me, on both sides of my world, both the OBGYN world and the MBA world, diabetes is really front and center. I uh, grew up uh, through a residency in the 70s where having uh, gestational diabetes was a big deal. People were told not to get pregnant. Uh, people were told if they did get pregnant, there could be something wrong with the baby. Uh, now having diabetes and pregnancy is something that uh, we handle every day. It's something we handle well, and it's something that because of the advances the American Diabetes Association and others have advanced, we've been able to cure. On the MBA side, and I had an opportunity to be part of the healthcare reform debate, diabetes is used as the number one chronic disease where we just don't get it. 50% of diabetics, 50% of diabetics in this country do not get appropriate care. Now many of them see five or six specialists. And they might see a vascular surgeon, they might see an OBGYN, and they might have all sorts of procedures. But nobody tells them to see an ophthalmologist and get a normal eye exam or, or, or have two hemoglobin A1Cs. So the, the concept of coordinating all this care, something that Steve Mason and I talk a lot about, coordinating all this care is really starting to happen in Tampa. Let me just give you an example of what USF Health is doing to help that. We are the city of champions, and I think what you'll find as you look further into it is that Tampa is the city of champions in curing diabetes. Jeff Krischer has a $408 million 10-year grant uh, for looking at the epidemiology and clinical research cures for diabetes, right here at USF. So if you go over to his lab, and by the way, his lab is around 270 uh, supercomputers, no beakers, no little uh, you know, gas coming up with the little flames, um, 270 supercomputers. We were there with a legislator, and uh, a baby with type 1 diabetes was, was uh, diagnosed in, in Iran. And literally, the genetics of her and literally everything about her came through. Every time someone is diagnosed and comes through through 27 countries, comes to Tampa, comes to Jeff, and it helps tailor the clinical research. It's really the first example of a truly personalized medicine approach to clinical research happening right here in Tampa, the largest, largest diabetes grant in the country. So then a really cool thing happened. So for those of you who met Jeff, he, he's exactly the kind of person you expect to be running 27 supercomputers, and he's over here. Then along comes Nicole. Now, for those of you who know Nicole, is uh, she's the most awesome ambassador for diabetes around. And she said, look, we need to be the place that everyone that gets di diagnosed with diabetes in the region feels healthier because they have a friend in USFL. And she said, um, I want to create a model where every diabetic, type 1 diabetic, has an invisible friend. Well, somebody that probably wasn't as popular as Nicole when I was young, I had a lot of invisible friends, so I, I, could, really, I, could, really, uh, I could really relate to that. And uh, we were very proud to announce, uh, and my good friend Steve Stagg was there last, uh, what was it, Wednesday night, uh, a $6 million grant from the Patterson Foundation to bring science home. And for those of you who know the Patterson Foundation, it's the New York Daily News, Chicago Tribune, WebMD. And uh, they said, you know, it was really neat that we came to Tampa because um, we figured we'd have to divide this grant into two because we figured we'd have to deal with the universities and their way of doing things. And we figured we'd also find somebody that was sort of really cool that could actually bring some of this home. And they found actually both of them at USF. So this is what's going to happen. Anyone, anyone that has type 1 diabetes in, in Tampa Bay, the moment that they get diagnosed and join our club, we're going to spend that $6 billion to make them more comfortable in many, many ways. So this includes the following. 
For those of you who have 16 year olds, you can imagine what it's like to have them drive. Imagine what it's like to have them be, be hypoglycemic and drive. So we're working with companies, mobile device companies, that will give 24 seven monitoring of that diabetic that we can call the parents or alert the person. The moment they get our club card, they're gonna have blogs and tweets and all sorts of things that um, people of my age with my kind of hair shouldn't be talking about, but people uh, like Nicole are helping us create. And literally, we're gonna bring that science home in many, many different ways. So uh, at, our, at our inaugural, we had seven teenagers uh, talk about what it was like to have diabetes. And they're gonna become our advisory board for this group. And then we had the parents talk about what it's like to have a family with diabetes. So we are very excited about being the place where the clinical research is getting done, being the place where we're bringing science home and working with some of the great uh, hospitals and healthcare providers like Baycare and Steve Mason and others to sort of bring in that, that great middle. Because a good part of healthcare reform is gonna be coordinating chronic diseases of which diabetes is the number one piece. We wanna make sure that when somebody comes in with diabetes, that they have coordinated care with electronic health records, with doctors that are communicating with each other, and with medical students and residents that understand that diabetes is really a lifespan and lifestyle illness. One of the things I'm most proud about at USF is that we train doctors for the future. So we're one of the first medical schools in the country now, this might sound weird, but we actually use emotional intelligence as a criteria for accepting physicians. Imagine that. You know, we still accept the doctors based on their science GPA, their med cats, and their organic chemistry grades. And then we're amazed that doctors are more empathetic, communicative, and creative. Now, if you think about it, you know, what about A would yield B? Well, at USF, we're creating both. And it's going to take both. It's going to take empathy, communication, creativity, and great science to both cure and treat diabetes the right way. So I am really pleased to be here. I'm pleased to be here representing uh, a great university who has taken diabetes on. We've decided that uh, diabetes uh, needs to be beaten, and we're going to do that. Uh, we're happy that we're the epicenter for research uh, in the United States. We're happy that we've got the number one ambassador in the United States. And we're really excited about working with the CEOs of this community uh, to defeat this horrible disease. So what I'd ask you to do is, as employers, let's inspire our employees to live healthier and better, and we'll have an opportunity to talk to our friend from Lifestyle Fitness, because that's a good part of what it's about. As leaders, we have an opportunity to really direct everyone to wellness, and as a parent, we have an obligation to look out for the best interests of our children, who will be the future leaders, and make sure that those with diabetes are able to lead very successful and happy lives. I'm very thrilled to be here. I am very proud to be uh, part of the American Diabetes Association. Uh, and as an obstetrician, I applaud them for everything that they have done to make the life of uh, women, children, men, all of us uh, that have diabetes much better.